All right, so we're getting a lot of questions about coronavirus cleaner and how you can spray it and whether or not you can spray it electrostatically. There are backpacks on the market that are specifically designed for that use, but we have electrostatic equipment in the painting industry and it's available. Unfortunately, the units on the market for the backpack sprayers are currently back ordered a few months. So we've been getting a lot of questions and we had a customer willing to bring us some of the cleaner uh, to try out. This may not fly across all the cleaners, but this particular product, we're gonna show you electrostatic. So all electrostatic is, is a basic sprayer, an airless sprayer that tries to insert an electric charge at the tip. And by doing that, we charge the cleaner and it should attract to a grounded target. With a paint that's electrostatic or a material that's electrostatic friendly, my pipe's gonna paint from here because it's gonna charge and draw toward it. So right now I have this set on the highest charge that my unit will apply. Now there are diff their equipment may use a different electrostatic charge or voltage, I don't know about the specs. But with our painting equipment, using this product, if this was working well, I would see this pipe get very wet. So I have no water on this. And there's no wet there's no wetness going on. If you look at our control pack when I'm spraying, this is the KV charge that I'm trying to apply. It's at its maximum. What you're going to see is this is going to drop to zero because we aren't getting any charge to the material. This material is essentially grounding out. I have my equipment set to be as helpful as possible to combat that grounding out issue. When I spray, I drop to zero. This is jumping up because my material is experiencing resistance through the ground. So basically this is not a good material to spray with electrostatic painting equipment. However, a basic airless sprayer will work very well for the product. The only issue you might have is corners and areas. Electrostatic will do better to drive into, a corner, uh, into an area and stick. However, this material is very thin and you can apply it very quickly through basic spray. You want to make sure you hit all the surface and would apply based on the manufacturer of the cleaner spec. This is a, you can buy a standard airless sprayer to do that. You could also use a handheld sprayer. Uh, Graco has a good one called the Ultra Max. That's water friendly. The Ultra is not, but the Ultra Max is. And that would be the, a unit that you could use to come behind and touch up areas that are in corners and similar issues. So we're doing this because we've got a lot of calls about it and we wanna make sure people understand electrostatic. This is a very expensive piece of equipment, 6,000 plus dollars for an outfit. And unfortunately, at least with our sprayer, this cleaner we're using isn't charging. And I think that might apply across a lot of the cleaners. So thank you for watching.